Here's a short explanation of the game of trains. Here's the basics to start. The game from Abacus Spiele is for two to four players ages eight and up. The average game time is about 20 minutes with the objective of the game to be the first player to arrange your train cars in ascending order. What's in the box? Well, this is a card game, so you'll find 84 playing cards, which have numbers on them, and four locomotive cards. To start, take the locomotive cards and give one to each player. Any unused locomotives are returned to the box. Players should place their locomotive card in front of them and slightly to their left. Next, shuffle the playing cards and deal seven cards to each player. Place the remaining cards face down in the center of the play area. Players take the cards and arrange them behind their locomotive in descending order, or highest number to lowest number. The instructions say that the youngest player goes first and followed clockwise around the table. Once the first player has been established, that player will draw one card, the second player will draw two cards, the third three, and the fourth player four cards. Once everyone has drawn their cards, the first player takes the card that they have drawn and chooses to replace it with one of the cards in their row. It can be any of the cards. Whichever card they choose to switch is removed from the line and replaced with the drawn card. The card that was removed is now placed face up next to the draw pile. Now the second player looks at their two cards drawn choose one of those two cards to go into the row, the one that is not chosen goes face down on the other side of the draw pile. The chosen card replaces one of the cards in the row. The replaced card goes face up next to the draw pile. Now the third player follows suit, chooses one of the three cards drawn. The other two go face down next to the draw pile. The replaced card goes face up next to the draw pile, and the fourth player does the same. If at any point where the face up cards are, have two cards with the same symbol on them, both of those cards are removed, flipped over, and placed on the face down pile next to the draw pile. This completes the setup for the game. Next we'll look at the gameplay. On a player's turn, they have two options. They can draw a card from the draw pile. If they choose to take a card from the draw pile, they follow the same example as before. They choose to replace one of the cards in their row, and the replaced card goes face up next to the draw pile. The other option is to use a card's special ability by drawing one of the face-up cards. The abilities of each card are shown by the symbol at the top of the card. If you draw a face-up card, you take that action of the ability and then place the card face down in the pile next to the draw pile. There are eight different abilities in the game. First, swap two adjacent cards. If you use this ability, you may switch two cards that are next to each other in your row. Swap two cards with one card in between. When you play this card, you can switch two cards around that have one card in between them. Move one card two spaces to the right. You can move one of your cards two spaces in the row to the right. The other two cards that are jumped move to the left. Keep in mind the card must move exactly two spaces. For example, you cannot use this card as it cannot move two spaces. Now two spaces to the left, just like before only this time going in the other direction. Next there are the remove cards. There are three different kinds. Remove the card to the far left. That's the one next to the locomotive. Remove the card to the far right. That's the one at the end of the line. And remove the middle card. This is the card in the fourth position. When a player chooses this action, every player, including the person who played the card, removes the corresponding card from their row, unless that card is protected, which we'll cover in a minute. 
The cards that are removed are placed with the face-up cards next to the draw pile. Next, starting with the player who played the action, they draw a new card from the draw pile and place it where the card was removed from. Once all players have done this, play continues with the next player's turn. The final ability is the Protect ability. If you decide to draw this card, you can take it and place it under either your first, fourth, or last card so that the lock is showing your card is protected. Now, if anyone else plays a remove card, your protected card does not need to be removed. The protection will remain there throughout the remainder of the game unless you decide to move the card. If you move any of the protected cards, the protection is removed and placed with the face down cards next to the draw pile. Play continues like this until one player is able to get all of their cards in ascending order. The moment this happens, the game is over and that player is the winner. Just remember that at any point, two cards that have the same symbol on the face-up cards, those cards are removed and placed in the face-down pile. If you run out of draw cards during the game, take the face-down cards, shuffle them, and place it as a new draw pile. So who will be the first to arrange all of their cards in the right order? Let's find out now that you know the basics. Let's play. 